Hey, race fan, Brian Davis races, and you can too. Listen, I have a confession. There is a segment right by my house, and I don't have the KOM, and it is driving me insane. So I thought, I'm gonna go all in on this thing. I'm gonna go flipping crazy to get this KOM, or at least tie it. I'm one second off the pace. I have my super fancy insoles, check. I just ordered some Velo toes to improve my aerodynamicisms. Check. The tightest speed suit. I even bought a new set of rims. I got some Roval from Specialized. They're deep 50s. And then I got one other trick. Any theory. Pro level coaching. Thomas Pren, US champion, here to walk me through how to tackle this 12 second segment. Wait, 12 seconds? Yeah, 12 seconds. I came from Colorado to help coach you for 12 seconds? I gotta get this KOM, it's right okay. by my house. 12 right. seconds, man, there's no racing. This is all we got. I have found when I've been doing this segment in the past that I'm, I feel like I have the gearing just not quite right. So. Are you shifting during the? I don't remember. <laughs> and it's only 12, sec 12 yeah. seconds, so. The hard part is because you're downhill, flat, and then you're uphill right away. So it's it's such a change in in force. Mm -hmm. So, but we'll go scout it out and see what see what you think. Okay. What kind of loop do you use? The squirt loop. Squirt. I have squirt loop. That's all I ever use. That's all you use. Okay. Yeah. Tested the fastest. It's... <coughs> Baby powder. Velo toes. Yeah. My sugar, uh, salt and caffeine cocktail. I'm probably gonna have even a little bit more caffeine because I'm all in on this thing. Weather's good, I, there's no real wind at all, which I think is ideal for what I'm trying to accomplish today. This segment is 12 seconds, like I said, super short. Wind is not a huge factor, it's definitely uphill. I've tried it many times and I cannot get 12 seconds, I can only get 13. Today's my day, but I'll go look at the charts and see what pressure I'm supposed to run for my, my girth. Oh, and my skin suit is feeling extra medium today. They're nice and snug. I didn't. I'm gonna get this thing. I'm gonna get this thing. This is this air pressure calculator, and it's asking for uh, total weight between all my gear, the bike, everything. So I'm gonna go grab my bike, weigh myself, and we'll see. 201. 27.1. All right, so Thomas wanted to bring me down here to do some scouting, and of his first question is something pretty obvious. Where does it start? Where does it start? That's a good question. I've just done it so many times that I don't even pay attention to it. I like, in my brain, I think I know it starts down there at the corner, but in fact, uh, in fact that is not the case. So we're gonna go to satellite and then zoom into this guy, and then it looks like it's actually like right here where that swing is. And I know that stop sign doesn't say right turn, no stop, but that's what they meant. Okay, well, let's keep, let's okay. keep looking. And you cut this corner. Cut it inside like this, I huh? I think so. Maybe cut those, those yeah. but... I was, uh, uh, these bumps get me. See, I think, I think there too is, is because they, they knocked me out in the previous attempts, those bumps have knocked me into uh, a, a rear wheel off the ground. Not old, No, not a super scary moment, but enough to be like lo losing power for sure. It's because I get right about here and then I'm usually over geared for this spot. You probably want to have your best gearing right about there because you want to finish really fast. Now, where's the finish? Is right here at this at this pole yeah so you're saying knowing where things start and finish is a good tip <laughs> <laughs> now when you would race would you put this thought process into fi oh, absolute finishes of big races to the pedal stroke really yeah like when I won the pro championships I probably eh, twice I probably pedaled backwards on the course to know when, where I wanted to start my sprint huh like, like literally, I knew I by what? pedal stroke. It's like, okay, this has got to be it. If I'm coming off someone's wheel, I have to be second wheel, 
third wheel max, but that's my sprint. That's how long I can sprint. Yeah. Now, you have to go 156 miles to get there, but <laughs> but still, like like Larry, yeah, in, a, in a criterium too, same thing. Know exactly where your sprint would start. See, I know that seems like, duh, but how many crits have I done and I've like taken a glance at the finish and been like, oh yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, no, so like always, before I would do, like before crit, I would all you'd always see me pedaling backwards on the course, literally counting pedal strokes in a 53-13. Oh, 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 you yeah. put it in the big gear. Oh, I put it in the gear, I'm sprinting it. Oh. Whatever I'm gonna be sprinting in, I pedal, I pedal back so ever many pedal strokes to, because I know that's where I can have my maximum sprint. Like I don't want to start sprinting before that. I may have to, but I don't yeah. want to. Yeah. I may end up getting boxed and have to sprint later. But like if I can come off someone's wheel and have those X number of pedal strokes. Wow. <laughs> I never thought about it. No, I absolutely never thought about n none of that. Okay. Well, next criterion, if there ever is one. Yeah. Okay. Now I see. Now I want to sprint and see like how many pedal strokes oh, I can yeah. get. How can you? Oh, I wonder what that is. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like a whole nother video. <laughs> Let's go warm up and then. Um, now on something like this. Now I know this is not a race, but would you like give it a, like a half-ass run, or would you not do that and just go with what we scouted, go all out and see how the chips fall? Uh, well, so probably I would say how many. It depends on what your fitness level is. How many? How many sprints do you have in you? Like to me, if I was fit, I could maybe do it three times. Yeah. So like maybe one time like pretty hard and then the second one just full on and then if I had to do it to break that, to beat that guy by a second, I'd... Hill, doing the sprint video with Brent, testing out these insoles, I was finding that my second sprint was really the... The better sprint. The one. You yeah. Know? So I think we'll, yeah. we'll go warm up. I'll do a pretty hard effort, nothing too insane, but enough to get full speed, get the turn, cut that line, and then uh, that'll kind of prime my, my muscles. Yeah. And then we'll go, we'll go. go for it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit like a 20 minute warm up, then I'm gonna crush this K1. I'm gonna get this thing, I am gonna get this thing. It's go time, it's go time. All right, so Thomas has his, uh, Electric scooter out to coach me through this process. Yeah, no drafting. No drafting. Yeah. All right, race fam. We got another tip. Thomas tells me that if we put the squirt lube on right before our effort. When they actually did all the testing on all the lubes, they actually, the, um, uh, they told me, they said, hey, you know, if it's actually wet, it's actually even faster. It's go time. It's go time. Go. Oh. We got it. All right. <laughs> now we're only tied. Oh no! But that's fine. I have, that the fine? I have the KOM. <laughs> that's what I'm after. It's okay to be tied. It's it's something. <laughs> it's concerning, but it's better than being second. That's for sure. Oh. All right, tied for first. From the coach standpoint. Yeah. Is there anything that you think you could mm. have done better? For you. I felt better. The gearing felt like. More the right way because you know what I did is on the way down I had my finger ready for the downshift yeah and I believe if I remember correctly I did downshift here and then I got up so I think if I could do anything again I sprinted ahead of the start and then did a seated sprint like through the start through the turn and, and I feel okay about that but I feel like I probably should have had a little more courage to start going all out for the finish a little earlier even risking petering out but I ah. think for the more duration I would have had more speed because when I got to the top I felt like I was not that I had more to give but I felt like I was still carrying a ton of speed if I mm -hmm. would have used that speed more judiciously throughout the whole effort yeah 
Yeah, you don't need to go faster 10 feet beyond the finish. Yeah. You need it all before the finish, so. Anyway, I feel good. I feel like mission accomplished. All so. right, good. All right, race fam, thanks for watching today. The goal on the channel is to grow our sport, grow our knowledge, grow our fitness, and I know that Thomas has delivered that to us today. We got great tips, lubricate uh, before you do something Well, short crazy. effort. Well, I mean, let's put it this way. Even if it dries out, it doesn't matter. Because it's still That's true, the best yeah. Loop, so. There's no, no, no harm done. Downside, yeah. And then, uh, I just, I can't wait to race again and count my, my pedal, pedal strokes, strokes to the finish line. Yeah, and now I gotta, like I wanna practice flatline sprints and figure out how many revolutions you can do. my number is. Yeah. So we'll, we'll do that in the future. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.